Hi everyone, and welcome to part two of Plan All Notes. And um, make sure, if you're watching this video, make sure you watch part one before, because we're going to continue from part one. And so, as you know, we left off from the part where we were working on load notes. So we're going to start from there. We have another variable called defaults. And it's going to be colon NF user defaults dot standard user defaults. Or sorry. No, it's NF user defaults equals NF <coughs> user defaults dot standard user defaults. Okay. Next line, I'm going to have another variable called save data and I'm gonna say it's gonna be in NS dictionary on the outside it's gonna be an optional I'm gonna set to defaults dot object for key and it's gonna be K all notes as NS dictionary. Okay. Next line, I'm going to have an if statement that says let data colon NS, NS dictionary and equal save data. Inside here, I'm going to have a for statement, and it's the the int is going to be an i, and it's going to be an int set to zero. I is um, less than data dot count, and i plus plus. Inside here, I'm going to have a variable called n. And it's going to be a note equals just initializing it. Here I'm going to say n dot set values for keys with dictionary. Set in inside here. I'm going to put data in brackets i like that. And I'm going to say all notes dot append n. Okay, so we added n to our all notes. So, okay, this is com this is a completed node dot list. I'm just gonna run for now, and actually nothing. It's gonna be the same thing, except for the plain all notes thing. So we see plain all notes. It's gonna be the same thing, and we get this. So I'm gonna change this. So yeah, we have to go back here. We're gonna link this up. And run again. Okay, so now if we create a new one and we go, we see this. And yeah, we can modify it. But it won't show up like, like this. If we type high, it still stays as this. So, yeah. We're going to. For, right now we're going to go to detailviewcontroller.swift and here we're going to have another function which is um, so I'm going to put over or I'm going to put view did or will disappear and inside here I'm going to put super dot view will disappear animated and next line, and we say if t view dot text equals nothing, and here I'm going to put all notes dot remove uh, index. Let's 
say current, you know, index, and, oops, sorry. And I have an else statement. And here I'm gonna put all nodes in brackets, current, no index, dot note, equals T view, dot text. Okay, so we're setting the note that's in the current note index to T view dot text, so the T view will be, the text will be that, okay? So, also here, put notes, dot save notes, and note table. Um, question mark dot reload data. Okay, so after that, we're gonna get rid of configure view. I'm gonna get rid of detail item and get rid of this. And replace this actually with T view that text equals all notes current the index dot notes so um, okay T view dot become first responder which will make the keyboard show up when you go to the view. Okay, um, okay, that's it for T, that's it for dvviewcontroller.swift. I'm going to go to masterviewcontroller.swift, and here I'm going to delete objects, and go here, this is going to be all notes.count, this is going to be all notes. And this is going to be object.note. And down here, it's going to be all notes. Dot remove at index. And here, I'm going to put all notes. Get rid of this. And also, Done. So object, this is going to be note. And. Sorry. Oh. And I'm going to go up here. Change this. So. Add. So right under. Viewed load. Super dot viewed load. Say note. Dot. Low notes. I'm also going to say note table. Dot, I mean equals self dot table view. <coughs> Sorry. And I'm going to go down to insert new object and this is going to be insert and also okay yeah and here I'm going to put self dot perform segue the identifier and it's going to be show detail this is a um, this is a identifier for the detail view controller dot swift or the detail view controller and made that storyboard and this is gonna be self. So if we insert a new object, we click the plus button, it gives us it will take us to the detail view controller scene. Okay, and. We're actually going to go to prepare for segue right here. And I'm gonna get rid of this. 
and oh, I'm gonna say right here that okay yeah go down okay yeah so go up here after let object we're gonna say current no index equals index path dot row and have an L statement and then here I'm gonna put current no index equals zero and okay yeah let's run once you save this let's run and okay so we still see high here let's say click plus it takes us to the other screen sorry so yeah if we go back click plus again it takes up it gives us the keyboard and it takes us to this screen I'm just gonna enter like the or like tie whatever and we can also delete like this and when you come back sorry oops and go back oh no okay Right. Okay, yeah. So run again and get the simulator. So yeah, because we so if we go home, come back, we still see this. We can create a new one. If we go back automatically it doesn't create it because we didn't type anything and that would be a waste of a note. So okay guys. Um Okay, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you see you uh, in my other Swift videos in, like, my whole channel. You can check it out at youtube.com slash user slash Jeffrey app, and check out all my other videos. Okay, bye-bye.